NFL playoffs are here. And this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Raiders and the Jets, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. No bigger stage than this one. Sold out MetLife Stadium, located just outside of New York City. Coming up, we begin a triple header here on Wild Card Sunday, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the New York Jets. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. A strap in the first of three on this Sunday. What a day we have in store. Super wild card weekend on EA Sports. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the veteran in his 10th NFL campaign, Jimmy Garoppolo. Let's face it, it doesn't matter if you're a rookie free agent or a 15-year vet. Guiding a team to victory on the road in the playoffs, that's no small feat. And it's going to be really important for him to play mistake-free football. But equally important, create some big plays as well to give his team confidence that they can win. Garoppolo, first play, going to throw it. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. This will be a gain of about 8 to the 27-yard line. Now a second and two. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. But Charles, you, you think about their impressive record, and then you look on the screen and see some of these injuries, that makes what they've done all that more impressive. And when one of their starters or one of their key guys can't play, they miss it, but they just say, get well. We'll hold the fort until you get back and the next person steps up into that void. This team has done a nice job all year long. No excuses, just performance. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here's Hardman to return. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of 8. And the Jets will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Now they're brought out by a man drafted over a decade ago out of Arizona has made at least one start in every season. That's Nick Foles. And I have to believe at his age, you savor situations like this because nobody knows better than he does that getting to the playoffs is simply not that easy. This is where he's got to call upon all his knowledge of all the games he's played in the past, draw from it, and find a way to win a game. Because not only do you want to savor getting there, you also want to have success as well. All again on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. On first and 10, it's Hall. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. On second down, a run with Hall. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Now Foles. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Second down and three. Here's Foles. Open man here is Conklin. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A very solid gain of 27. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. 
So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. They'll run with Hall. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Foles. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They'll look to throw on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Zerline's kick is up and through. So three points on the board is easy a field goal that you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, He's still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? The Raiders heading out to take over. And work with me here. Is this overhyped or not? You've got a warm-weather team on the road in January, and it's cold. What's, what's the deal? Is that a factor? Is it not a factor? I think a lot of it depends on the personality of your head coach and how you prepare for things. And, and some things you just can't prepare for. If you're coming from a warm-weather site, you can't make it cold enough like it is here in this ball game. But what you can do is just tell the guys, dress for the weather, and then play like we always play. And as the game goes along, typically those guys out there playing, you warm up enough that it really shouldn't affect you quite the same way. Now, if that's all you talk about, if, that, if you put that in the heads of your players, oh, it'll affect them in a big way. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Hardman on the return. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. Second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. On second and nine. Foles. And the Raiders have got him. Jerry Tillery running in there and setting him down. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season. So you know he's going to get his chances and he picks up nice yardage on that one. Garoppolo on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. 
Second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. Inside the ten, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Well, C.D., we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here, they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, they had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football. And now Garoppolo lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll have it just five yards away from pay dirt here first and goal. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, in the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. This is caught. Touchdown. Nicole Hardman. A five-yard touchdown. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Raiders now set to get the football back. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Two minutes gone by second quarter. Now a quick throw out wide to Myers. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Garoppolo to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Returnable here from the 38. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown 
On their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll set up the screen for Hall. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll drop to throw. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes what, nine, four, nine times out of ten. Just missed that one. 27 yards there, a first down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he gets halfway home from the ten to the five on a pickup of five. Here's a second and five. Again, he'll drop to throw. He gets it underneath to Hall. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And now we've got a third and four. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll look to throw again. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So this lead, Charles, is continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue. But all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. And we'll see what he can do on the return. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And they do have terrific starting field position, but no timeouts to work with, so they'll need to operate quickly. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Wilson. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 54 yards. And the Jets continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on their lead that score that they just gave up there that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters they really were determined to get a stop there unable to do so that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult Zerline connects on the extra point and the route is on here in this first half 
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Raider offense heading back for one final first half drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Garoppolo. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where it was the visiting Bills who were able to come away with the victory on the road. Gabe Davis, a touchdown catch in the victory. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And they have made this look easy. I mean, there's not supposed to be anything easy about the NFL playoffs, but this lead, yes, they're at home, but this has been impressive. And we hear all the time when upsets happen, teams go on the road, that maybe home field advantages and all it's cracked up to be. But you and I both know the reality is teams really fight hard to get it. Why? You don't ever have to change routine. Everything's familiar going into the game. It makes things easier, and that has paid off for them in a big way in this contest. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big man rumble, and he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. He'll look to throw. That's caught at the two. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. But look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had a fight and claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game. A message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. 
They'll come up second and six now from the 24. To throw is Garoppolo. He's got Renfro on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Garoppolo looks to throw. Back to Renfro again, complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Garoppolo now. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Finding room at midfield, and finally marked down at the 42-yard line. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Jacob's going to try the middle, and he gets it down to the 32. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And the Jets are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. But they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. The New York set to take the field. Can't officially call this a win for them yet, but it's looking good to move on to the divisional round. They'll be on the road, of course, as an underdog. But the age-old question, would you rather have the momentum they're going to have or sitting at home with a bye? I'm sure you'd probably rather have the bye. You remember that conference call we had before the playoffs started? We were talking with some people in the industry and, and some of the coaches that are out there, and we kind of posed the same question. You know, if you're coming off of a game like this, you know, and you're taking, taking out a team that had that open week, 
which way do you want to go? And you remember the answer they gave us? <laughs> I want the better team. Yeah, All right? yeah, okay, absolutely. I get it. I get it. But I think there's a lot to having that momentum of having played versus coming off of that layoff because maybe you start a little bit slower. You see those upsets happen all the time. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Here's Hall again. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Here's Foles. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. Garoppolo again here on second and ten. And he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully, this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. The front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. So the sack of Garoppolo, and now what can they come up with on third and long? They'll set up a throw. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And this will kick out of bounds inside the five. Talk about disaster averted as they hold on to the football. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start on the ground. Hall and a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Hall again on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Ball again. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer.